I had to come down towards the beach today to pay a couple bills and it kind of got me thinking man what were like four things that I wish I would have knew when I first got here that could have saved me some coin Thailand's already cheap but there are a lot of ways to save money here that a lot of people don't talk about so I thought of four things that I would tell you that would keep some of those coins in your pocket and uh, I'll give you a hint it all has to do with something that you're already carrying in your pocket every day anyway First things first, one of my favorite places, 7-Eleven. More specifically, the 7-Eleven app. So they have an app for delivery here. And if you don't know, 7-Eleven here is more like a mini convenience store. So this can save you a lot of money when it comes to, you know, groceries, little household items. Not really like stuff to cook, but more like you want to get some snacks and stuff. Granted, you could just cruise down there, but if you're somebody who likes to order food every once in a while, the 7-Eleven app, will save you some money as opposed to the other delivery apps and sending them to 7-Eleven. Now, it does take a Thai phone number to sign up, but assuming that you're gonna be here, you're probably gonna get a Thai SIM card anyway, so you should have a Thai phone number. Second thing on our list is the Kluk app. K-L-O-O-K. -K. So if you're from the States, this is super similar to, um, uh, what's that called? Uh, oh man, I'm having a super brain fart right now. It's like a coupon app. Man, I'm totally spacing. Still thinking, I'll get it. It's like where you can buy like Groupons. Groupon, it's like Groupon. So you can go on there, you can look up any attractions that you wanna do, museums, temples, stuff like that. And generally they're gonna be prices that are a lot cheaper, especially if you're a foreigner, you can go ahead and buy your ticket on there. And from what I've seen, I've been to a couple spots and it saved me almost 200 baht at the Sanctuary of Truth, uh, among a couple other places. So super cool for stuff like that. I think they do have hotels and stuff on there as well. Although I haven't tried to use that one personally. Number three on our list of penny pension for travelers is gonna be the Bolt app. So this is just like Uber. It's generally cheaper than a couple of the other um, kind of like Uber apps here. And from what I've seen, there are more drivers that are working on Bolt as opposed to Grab. So this one's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It's a taxi service app. I don't think they do food delivery. Grab is also a taxi service app that does food delivery as well. So you can order from restaurants and stuff but Bolt is pretty much strictly taxis and it's gonna be generally the cheaper out of the two. If you would like to learn more tips and tricks from Thailand as well as anywhere else I end up, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing so you get updated every time I upload new content and chicks will dig you if you do. Cherry on this pro tip ice cream sundae, Shopee slash Lazada. So this is two different apps, but they are the Amazon of Thailand essentially. So if you need stuff for your house, literally anything. Uh, I mean, think about it. It's just like Amazon clothes, soap, whatever. Everything on there is pretty much dirt cheap and it's super fast delivery as well. They have their own couriers, so it's super quick. It's pretty much just a carbon copy of Amazon. Super clutch, name it, they got it. As always guys, thank you for tuning in to Tempest TV. If you'd like to gather some more tips and tricks while you're here, go ahead and watch either one of these videos that I've linked and get your knowledge on, get you a little bit of learning in before you come to Thailand. As always, have a great day. I'll see you guys later, I love you, bye.